Welcome to Dr. O's Solutions. In this video I would like to present to you our small unit uh, air and water ozonator. If you already purchased uh, this medical grade ozone generator and you would like to ozonate the air and water uh, with it, there is nothing wrong with that. Unfortunately, it's just the whole setup is quite bulky. If you want to carry it to the other room or the, or, the, or the bathroom on the first floor on the second floor and then back to the kitchen so it's quite inconvenient to do so that's why we developed this unit and this particular unit uh, produces 300 milligram ozone an hour so it's designed to ozonate the air or you can do with the same unit ozonate the water it's all our equipment and comes with the lure connector for your convenience you don't have to kind of find the outlet and place it in so it's very convenient you just simply uh, attach the, the, uh, uh, the bubbler to it or you can run it and ozonate uh, the, the air so as you already know ozone removes the smell uh, it can remove the smoke it, for the high concentration in the small room it will remove the mold as well uh, if you have uh, uh, small areas in the kitchen, so it will take care of even the kitchen, uh, the kitchen smell while, while you, you're cooking. So to, in order to operate it, it, it is very simple. You just simply turn that thing on, press the power arrow up, and it increases in the 5 minutes increments. So you want to reduce it, you just simply reduce the minutes put the power back up and it starts pumping the air and in this mode it will ozonate uh, ozonate the air so I already smell ozone uh, when you want to ozonate the water you, s you simply attach bubbler as I said it comes with a uh, four feet tubing right to the lure connector you put it to, to your water and do the same thing and it's, here it comes ozone, you ozonate the water some people even would like to drink that water again uh, you will produce not only ozone uh, but as well other substances because the air contains nitrogen, it contains CO2 and it contains uh, between 21 to 23 percent oxygen uh, only but again this is very efficient way if you mount it for instance on the kitchen table or no, sorry in the kitchen wall and you have a bowl obviously that could be you put your fruits and vegetables um, here so what you do you put the stone first then you put your fruits and veggies in it you can put uh, if you want to clean the meat or fish you can do it the same thing you just put meat or fish you put some water and you start the unit on and it will start ozonating the water and the water will kill all viruses and bacteria in the water just a reminder for you the other saying so it cleans the water it does not clean the water it disinfects the water so ozone uh, it's highly reactive substance, oxidizing substance, so it oxidizes everything that in the water already in contain the water already contains a lot of different substances, so we'll oxidize them and break those substances apart. But if the particles are in the water, they will be in the water but will break apart in a smaller fraction. Just remember that. So it doesn't mean so you can put dirty water in the, in the clean water is going to come out from after your ozonation absolutely not so but let me show you um, uh, how fast this unit ozonates the water okay here is a glass of the just just simple tap water I'll, I'll, I fill it up right from the tap Okay, and this is ozone testing solution. We do sell it. You can find it in our website. So let me put some testing solution so it will make it blue. Uh, we'll just make it blue.
Let's make it very Uh, every drop represents half a ppm uh, ozone in a 20 milliliters uh, vial. So obviously this is more than 20 milliliters, so it will be uh, for, for testing you need to have a vial and test it in the vial. This is just a sampling to show you how fast it ozonates, uh, ozonates the water. I start my timer, it's just easier for me. So, you see it's getting white. So, that means there is ozone in the water and the uh, and testing solution is gone. So, let's just keep uh, putting in and see how it dissipates. So, that means there is a lot of still ozone in the water. So, I usually ozonate, ozonate for five minutes uh, and that solution is, is ready to, to do uh, your washing, your disinfecting, your surface. Uh, it's very convenient as, as well to do the water flossing with it. So what for that reason I mount this on my uh, bathroom wall right by the outlet and this is sits by my sink. So I put the water in it but obviously I put the tap water so I start my ozonator and I do whatever I do in my my bathroom I, I let it ozonate for, uh, for four or five minutes and then I start just flossing my, my teeth with it so it's very very uh, convenient so you don't have to ozonate, ozonate the water in your setup bring it in pour it in and so on and so forth so it's, it's very convenient it's, Again, and when it's mounted on a wall, so in a, in a, your bathroom, so it will remove the, all the smell in your bathroom, uh, and it does it quite uh, well. Yeah. So what what's good thing about this small unit? It's it's used the same technology as this unit. It's a small plasma plasma glass uh, unit. And it's designed for 10,000 hours of a, of a runtime. So it's very, very uh, durable. And it's designed to, to run for a very long time. And it has no ceramic uh, the cells, like uh, other manufacturers use ceramic. And ceramic is not safe uh, material with ozone. So this is uses medical stainless steel uh, electrode with a uh, quartz uh, glass in it. So I think this is this is this is very good uh, unit for you to, to give you uh, to give yourself a gift or to give your relatives the gifts. Or I personally have in my um, in my every uh, bathroom I have this, and in the kitchen I have this mounted right on the wall. And my wife always runs it when, when she cooks it, so there is no uh, smell in the kitchen at all. So what, what else you can do with it? You can ozonate the water, even you can put uh, a lot of water, it just holds a gallon. Ozonate the whole gallon in it, and you can clean the floor. Uh, we do have a few calls on customer calls, and they, they did say, so we have in the, in the, in the, in the basement, there's a lot of mold on the floor, what do we do? So it's very easy to do with ozonated water. So you ozonate the water, or you can put the whole bucket, and still it's very long. As I said, this is, comes with a four feet, okay? So you can ozonate the whole bucket of water and clean your floor. So you not only will clean it, you will disinfect the floor. The same thing, you will disinfect uh, the uh, kitchen counter. So I know some customers do when it's located near your sink. What you can do, you just simply, as I said, it's long enough. You connect it to it. It's very connected, very easy, right to the lower connector. Uh, so you plug your uh, kitchen sink and you put it in the kitchen sink, and you can ozonate the water right in your sink and you put your veggies and your meat. And uh, after you, you obviously don't mix the veggies and the meat together. 
uh, so you can clean it right not in a bowl so you can do it in the kitchen sink so you can mount it on the wall but it can be removed you just simply remove it and can carry it room to room especially now uh, with uh, cold and a lot of uh, all that flu so what you can do you can carry it to the room close the room uh, run it for even 30 minutes so it can go as you can see so we can go up to 30 minutes and you can start and it will ozonate the air in the room you close the room for half an hour it will kill all that viruses and bacteria in the roof and you have someone who is sick in your family it's very really smells like ozone uh, one good thing about this unit as well since it runs from a 12 volts adapter okay yeah. so you can run it uh, in your car if you have a if you have a do have a smell in the car so you can take it to your car and run for 20-10 minutes in the car just remember ozone destroys the rubber so if I will ozonate my car inside for 20-30 minutes it's not going to make a difference so it's not going to damage immediately the rubber but if you do it all the time then the issue comes comes with the, this uh, rubber destructions uh, a very interesting use uh, we uh, have calls uh, and the customer <laughs> uh, shared the experience with us how what they do they just extend the tubing just take that that bubbler out you connect the tubing to it okay. so now you have ozone coming in so what you do uh, if your kids do play sport and you know the bag they carry and the um, uh, sport cloth they carry it kind of smelly <laughs> so what you do you put this ozone in your bag with the sport with your sport goods close your zipper and, and let it run for 10-20 for minutes this ozone in your sport bag will kill the mold uh, will kill even the ringworm and it will destroy all that 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 smelly uh, that that sports smelly thing in a, in a, in your sports. So if bag. you do find something else, or you use you other application, please uh, share it with us. Uh, share with uh, our fellow um, members of our ozone medical ozone research group. That group we have on the Facebook. Uh, please find us. Uh, put medical ozone research group. Uh, you have to ask and I'll approve you and you'll be a member of this group. We have a doctors there, we have a patients there, we have uh, people all over the world there. Uh, we have a very good posts and doctors uh, uh, putting the post and, and putting the post about the experience they have. People come and ask the questions, the doctors, I always answer the questions there, but there are many doctors who will answer your question there as well. So if you like uh, this video please give us a thumbs up. If you don't want to miss any videos from us there is a bell down below. You just, you just click on that bell and we'll see you in the next video.